everybody, Rob here from Making Spirits Bright, and I am back. It has been a while since my last review, but um, today we're going to get into the Easter spirit with not one, but two brand new 2022 inflatable reviews for you today. Now, I don't normally do Easter reviews. I kind of just stick to Christmas and Easter, but these two particular ones caught my attention enough that I decided to pick them up and I'll put them out in the yard this year. Won't go much bigger than this. Um, like I said, I usually do Christmas and Easter. I just don't have the storage space to do more than that or really the time to devote to three different holidays trying to make three different really big displays. So I stick with two. Um, but yeah, let's take a good look at these two inflatables. Let's go bunny for bunny, see which one is the better of the two and which one you should pick up if you're looking for a new Easter inflatable for your Easter display or just for Easter decorations if you're in the Easter type mood. All right, and there they are. So let's start with the first one on top. So this is the seven foot tall, just says Easter bunny. LED lights, not C7s. Um, nothing too fancy, but let me explain why this one caught my interest. So it doesn't say Peter, can't really see that. It doesn't say Peter Cottontail or anything, it just calls it Easter Bunny. But he looks very much like Peter Cottontail, which is what caught my attention. I just like the design, I like his, his um, you know, checkered shirt. You got the little bow tie, like the blue jacket. Very Peter Cottontail-ish to me. Um, so yeah, that's why this one I felt was good enough for me to go out of my comfort zone and give it a shot. So again, like I said, this is seven foot tall. Um, you can get this one, I believe, in a couple places, but I got this at uh, yardinflatables.com. So shout out to them now the second one this one is the lux bunny with egg so you can see just like the the lux nutcracker and the um the lux llama the lux bumble all the different lux designs for the different holidays this is one for the easter season so you got basically a eight foot tall rabbit and he is fuzzy, at least on the front. I don't know if he's fuzzy all around. We'll find that out in a minute. He's holding a Easter egg that says happy Easter. He has luxurious fabrics, plush fabric with metallic accents. So you got the, the gold shiny fabric, you got the white fuzzy material, and then you've got the nice kind of shiny uh, purple fabric as well. So this one will have C7 bulbs in it. Um, I don't know off the top of my head how many it has. I think it has like five, no more than six, but eight feet tall. Not huge by any means doesn't need to be 2022 jemmy product so yeah it was the lux aspect of this one that really kind of piqued my interest and with the other one it was just the whole hey i look like peter cottontail which is pretty cool too so we're gonna look at each of these individually and then just give you my thoughts on if you could only buy one which one you should get so, real quick, I forgot to mention, this one here, the Lux Bunny, is sold at BJ's Wholesale Club. Um, when I got it, it was $99. I think it's, when it started out, it was $119. Um, with BJ's, they tend to drop in price quite often. So, there's a good chance you might even be able to get that even cheaper. But let's start with Bunny number one. The Easter Bunny, a.k.a. Peter Cottontail. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention on this, and you'll see right here the hint. But yes, this one has a cheap fan. 
and it is $54.95, I believe, from yardinflatables.com, which, yeah, I don't like cheap fans, but it's seven feet tall. Um, it's a nice price, and it's a cool design. It's worth definitely giving it a try. So we're gonna get this all out. We'll get everything plugged in, get him all inflated, and we'll go from there. All right, so here he is, all inflated. Um, he looks really good. So you're getting the seven feet tall from his ears extension, obviously, up to the tip top of his head is probably only about five feet. He's holding his, a purple Easter egg. Um, you know, inflates fairly decent. We'll look at the actual type of cheap fan so you see there's a cheap fan it looks like i can't tell if that's a large or a medium it's either a large or a medium cheap fan maybe it's a medium i don't know it inflates it fairly well it kind of inflated slow but i also kind of just kind of plopped it out of the box and i think part of it was folded over on top of the fan so that kind of made it inflate pretty slow as far as where the leds are and how many that it has looks like there's one inside the egg um there's one down there and there's one up here so it looks like three total but overall fix his collar gotta make him look good make him look dapper um he looks really good really good and honestly for 55 dollars, this is hard to beat very good looking Easter inflatable. I think you put this in your yard, everybody kind of knows that it is either A, an Easter bunny, or B, Peter Cottontail. And this notice mine has an itty bitty hole right there in the egg, which if I put a piece of tape on it or something, it'll be fine, but there's quite a bit of air coming out there. So if you get one, you might want to check that. Um, but yeah. As you look in the corner, you can see a comparison between the Peter Cottontail actual character and this inflatable. And you can see that they're quite, quite similar. All right, so there's the first one. And let's check out the Lux Easter Bunny. Now this one does not have a cheap fan. And that is why... It has a larger price tag as well. All right, got that open. I predict instructions, yes! Who would have thought? Yeah, your typical instruction manual, you get those even if it's Easter, Christmas, Hanukkah, you name it, Kwanzaa, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's, you get the instructions. And you can see the nice, fuzzy, luxish material. I call it flocked, flocked material. Looks just like any other flocked, but very soft, very soft. All right, let's get this one out and get it inflated. All right, so here this one is inflated. And I was gonna do like an inflation of it, slow-mo type inflation, but it has a YEF-125, which is a very solid, um, fan and it blows up fast like so fast that it was just easier for me to go ahead and inflate them and film them that way so that is a huge plus on this one um, as far as tightness super tight feels like this dude has been pumping some iron this is very solid um, he does shed so watch out for that you can see on the ground there there's some of his shedding um, but other than that, he looks pretty good. As far as where is he flocked, the entire arms, the front side of his body, front side of his face. The back is not flocked. 
somebody caught him and shaved him. Poor guy. One thing I forgot to show you was it does come with your typical steaks and stuff. Nothing, nothing new there, but in case you're wondering. Uh, where are the tie downs? There is one underneath his elbow. Oh, you can see he sheds big time. There is the other elbow. And then the rest is just the base fan holes on the legs that you would use to put into the ground. The Easter egg looks really good. Obviously it says Happy Easter. Um, it's got some fringe and stuff. You got some of that gold Lux coloring there on the top and on the bottom. His vest is a shiny dotted um, metallic purple. He's got a gold bow tie for when he's dancing at Chippendales. Looks really good there. His nose works pretty well. He has a very good, I think, looking face. Um, you see his whiskers. You see his stitching on that. Looks pretty good. Yeah. I want to get a video of both of these guys at night, so that'll be one of the final things I do. I'll have them together, and we'll get them... Um, get some footage of them in the dark but yeah both of these are really nice like i said i'm not a huge easter inflatable or easter decorator but both of these caught my attention and for good reason if you could only get one i guess that the answer is going to come down to what's your budget if 100 bucks works by all means get this one this is to me that's a no-brainer go with that one if you want to spend about 50 60 bucks then go with the peter cottontail version all right well, let's look at these side by side and here they are side by side i mean they have definitely different facial qualities like this is more realistic rabbit ish this is more cartoonish. This is more of a traditional Easter Bunny, I feel. Like old school Easter Bunny, like 1800s or 19, whenever they started celebrating Easter with eggs and stuff. Versus more of a modern twist Easter Bunny, a modern-ish. Um, like I said, this one, very Peter Cottontail-ish. If the real old school book style Peter Cottontail character has a blue jacket, but I don't believe he has a sh he doesn't have the shirt or the bow tie. But um, yeah, I like it both. As far as a quick rob rating for value, which one wins between the two? Ah, it's a tie. Like this is only fifty five bucks. This is just a little under a hundred bucks. I'd say this is. They're both kind of a nine out of ten. This is good value because it's cheap. This is a good value because it's a base fan and it's still somewhat cheap. As far as design, which design do I like better? That's tough. I really like this design because it does remind me of a more of a traditional Easter Bunny. But I love the features on this. The Lux features. I call it a tie there too. I would give this a 9 out of 10, that a 9 out of 10. Wow factor, which one's going to get the most attention? Guess what? It's a tie. I would do 9 out of 10 here and a 9 out of 10 here. I think they're both excellent examples of Easter Bunny. So 27 out of 30, 27 out of 30. Bottom line, it's up to you. What's your budget like and which one looks the best to you? Let me know in the comments below, if you could only get one, which one would you get? Easter Bunny number one, the Lux Bunny, or Easter Bunny number two, the Peter Cottontail Bunny. All right, last thing I'm going to do as this video ends is we're just gonna have a quick nighttime shot. But if you watched all the way to the end, appreciate it. 
If you've never commented or subscribed or liked, please do that. I really appreciate it. It helps me keep the channel going. It helps me keep adding wonderful um, new inflatables to review for you. All right, guys. Once again, this is Rob from Making Spirits Bright, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.